you know, I think the downfall of hunting is really not going to be anti-hunters. Unfortunately, it's going to be hunters. The hate that hunters put on other hunters just because they don't agree with the way that they hunt, agree with the weapon that they use, how far that shot is taken, that, that infighting is going to be the death of hunting. Happens all the time. And I just saw a video by the rogue outdoorsman about the 470 inch bull that just got killed in Arizona by Jimmy Johns. And uh, when you scroll through the comments, you can see the hate. 600, 700 comments. Uh, that was elk shooting, not an elk hunt. Um, it's all about the money. That's not an ethical person. It's so sad that makes me sick. And so when it, when it comes to this hate, and it happens to me, it happens to you probably what you, that's listening to this, it comes down to whether it's legal and whether it's ethical. Legal is objective. This hunt that Jimmy Johns undertook, and let's use this as an example. Was it legal? 100%. So nobody should have issue with the legality of the hunt. What everyone has issue with is the gray area of ethics. The gray area of whether or not this was ethical. And ethics comes down to subjectiveness. My ethics are going to be different than yours, and your ethics are going to be different from the guy next door to you. So what are the ethics of this hunt that people are hating on? One, the fact is that he had so many people around him, so many people watching the bull, essentially camping out on the bull. Is that ethically wrong? In my opinion, no. Because this is the governor's tag. This is a tag that probably cost $200,000, $250,000. It doesn't just happen in Arizona, it happens in every western state. And people are crying afoul. Oh, he's just hunting that because he has money. Yes, that's absolutely true. But do you know where that money goes? It's not going to A3, the outfitters of this specific hunt. That money is going into the coffers of Game and Fish so that the opportunities available to Arizonians and non-residents coming into Arizona to hunt are there regardless of whether you think the fact that he spent so much money and there were so many people around it as unethical, think of the consequence of that one hunt to wildlife conservation in Arizona. The other ethical debate here is the long shot. He shot this animal at 960 yards. Okay. Did he hit the animal in the vitals at 960 yards or a thousand yards? Yes. Wow. That's pretty impressive shooting. Would I do it? No. Would you do it? Maybe. Maybe not. But again, that's a gray area. Why are we even debating whether or not a long rifle shooter is better than a short rifle shooter that's better than a traditional bow hunter that's better than a compound bow hunter? We all can mess up. Okay. In that same vein, you hear the guide in the video saying, there was no other shot, we couldn't get closer. So they took the shot. The other comments tied to ethics is, well, you couldn't even walk up to the animal. You had to ride a horse up to the animal. Well, is it a prerequisite to be a hunter, to be absolutely fit and be able to climb these steep mountains and steep ridges? Absolutely not. It's okay to be out of shape and go hunting. So he needed a horse to get up to the elk. So he needed trekking poles to walk up there. Maybe he's got bad knees. He's overweight. Okay. Why does that make him any less of a hunter? It's because your definition of ethics of what a hunter is supposed to look like or feel like or um, represent may be a little skewed. What I took out of this video is at the end. When you listen to Jimmy, when you listen to him explain before the trophy shot, he's not even interested in the trophy shot. He wanted to thank everyone. He was so appreciative of everyone helping him. You can hear the emotion in his voice. And I don't know, Jimmy, 
but you can tell that there is a little bit of insecurity there in him expressing his emotions because he puts jokes about how much money he earned and he can make sandwiches and the guides can't. That's just a tactic. That's just a tactic of someone trying to express emotions and being a little self-aware that I'm not supposed to be emotional around a bunch of guys and so I need to make them laugh. But he got emotional because it meant a lot to him. And that's what hunters feel. They feel that emotion at the end. So, you as a hunter, what are you going to say to another hunter in the future? I want you to think about ethics. I want you to think about how you're portraying your own ethics onto someone else that may be hunting just a little differently. That may decide to do things differently because of circumstances. Maybe they can't spend as much time afield as you can. Maybe they're not as fit as you are. Maybe they choose to shoot a long rifle versus a traditional bow. It doesn't make them less of a hunter. So. That is my wish. I wish hunters would stop hating on other hunters.